Welcome back. Today I'm going to go over the question mark colon node. This node is commonly um, misunderstood uh, or misplaced, and some users think that we don't have it within uh, Neos or that we need it to add it, etc. It uh, It is there, it's just uh, somewhat confusing sometimes because of the terminology. So it's called the question mark colon node because that's what's displayed on the um, node when you use it, but it can also be referred to as a conditional node or a ternary node or a, um, an if statement node or stuff like that. I'm going to avoid using the term if though because there is another node that is literally called if that may cause confusion. So think of it as conditional or ternary. I'm going to show you how it works, talk about some examples, and even go ahead and build an example where it uses it as a uh, conditional. Let's get started. With that, I'm going to hop over into Smooth POV. Now in Smooth POV here, I'm going to equip my uh, logic step here by just grabbing it off the tool shelf. And I'm going to open up the node browser and if you're looking for this question mark color node, it's inside operators. Once you're inside operators, um, double trigger on the question mark colon, and then you can spawn it in place with a double trigger as well. And here it is. When you spawn a question mark colon by default, it will be in the float data type. You can see that by the uh, cyan um, colors on the inputs here and the output there. You'll see that there are three inputs and one output. You can easily um, start playing with this node if you just pull out a input node for each of the inputs and an output display node. To do this, put the ball tip of the logic tip into the cyan part, hold down trigger, pull out a ribbon by just moving your hand, and push secondary. Do the same for the secondary input, and then do the same for the third input. Then we're going to do the same for the output by putting in the ball, pulling out a ribbon, and pushing secondary. With these created, we now need to um, cause some, some difference to be here. These are both zero, and that's, that's no good. So I'm going, to put, um, I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put two here. And now it should be easier to start seeing what the node is doing. I'm going to talk you through it, though. You'll see that right now the node is outputting two, and that's because this conditional down here is false. If I change this conditional by triggering it, you will now see that it is 1, because this is true. If I change it back to false, it will be 2 again. That's because the question mark colon node will output the bottom input, also known as on false here, when this is false, and the top input, also known as on true, when this is true. And then you can see that this is called the condition, and that this is just the output. So if, it can be read as, if this is true, output 1, else output 2. So if this is true, output 1. If it's false, output 2. That's how the question mark colon node works. Stay with me if you'd like some more examples and even a sort of real world example. For some examples of um, how to use it for other data types, I've um, brought it across to show you here. I've got some examples. So we have an integer here, which is the green data type. We have a red example here, which is the string data type. So in this case, it's uh, if true, output yes, otherwise output no. So if I set this to false by clicking it, you'll see it says no. Otherwise I can set it to true and I'll put yes. And then here's another thought example. To change the data type of a ternary node and any other logics node, spawn it in the world and it will spawn in with the data, default data type. Open up your node browser and plug in a node, any node, doesn't really matter which one, that has an output of the data type you're looking for. If you're unsure, go to the input folder, select the data type you want from here, and input it. So for string, I'm going to spawn a string input node. I'm going to plug the red output into the, pink, uh, the cyan here, and you'll see it turns red. And then I can pull another display node, and so here we can say potato, and then here we can say carrot. Move the node browser out of the way a little bit, and then we can port this out and port this out. And now it'll read, if this is false, output carrot. If this is true, output potato. Now this should work for most data types. Uh, just try it out with uh, any data type that you have. If you have troubles, uh, let me know or someone else know in the Discord, in the comments, or in game. I'm now going to build a real world example of using the question mark colon node to uh, have an effect that sort of illustrates more the sort of conditional aspect of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an input box, and when the input box has the word uh, potato in it, 
we're going to um, make a light brighter. I would turn the light on or off, but the problem is you can do that without the question mark colon node. So I need an example where you needed the question mark colon node. So that's why we're going to do this. It's a bit contrived example, but do bear with me. It's a good example, I promise. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn the question mark colon node again. And we're going to leave it as a float data type because we want the light to be brighter when the condition is true and darker when the condition is false. So in this case, we're going to specify the power of the light. So um, one is max brightness for a light. Well, not max brightness, you can go higher than one, but it's the, the standard brightness that a light is when it's on. And 0.5 would be half brightness. So you can see here how it's um, slightly different, the sort of one being on and zero being off. We're doing something different here, which means we need this node. And then I can pull out a conditional here add an output and you'll see here when this is true full brightness and when this is false half brightness we're going to wire this into a light now for that i'm going to grab the light tip you can find this in um, essential tools and i'm going to make a light in the world by just triggering and there you go there's the light i'm going to inspect the light by using secondary on the dev tool tip going up to the root and one more where it says point light here going to equip their logics tooltip here, find the light component, and I'm going to go ahead and grab this with my laser. So now I've got light with my laser here, and I'm going to push secondary, which will give us a uh, interface card for this light. And then I can plug in this output into the intensity of the light, which is what I wanted. So now you can see that this is a half intensity. And when I turn it to true, you'll see it's now at full intensity. I could also raise this number so that when this is um, uh, true, it's also brighter. So I'm going to leave that like that. All right, we're almost there. We're just going to make this slightly more complicated using that, uh, that conditional that I mentioned. So to do that, we're going to use the equal equal node, which compares two things together and sees if they're equal. And we're going to plug in a string into that. So here's an input string. And that'll change the equal equal to a uh, string type with the red input, a bit like the question mark colon I showed you earlier. So we're gonna have two of those and it'll output a Boolean. So I'm gonna put potato in the bottom one here. And I'm gonna leave this top one blank for now. And so you'll see when I pull out a display node here and push secondary, you'll see that this is false. So I can now put this into the conditional and then delete this and delete this. And now it reads, if this equals potato, then set the light to two in terms of brightness, otherwise set it to 0.5 in brightness. So you can see right now that the light is at 0.5 in brightness. Oops. My tools are running away with me. There we go. Um, and then if I type in potato up here, the light will suddenly get brighter because potato equal equal potato and then this becomes true this becomes true here and then it says output two because this is true and then there you go the light is bright i know that that was a contrived example but i do hope it helps uh, if you have any questions about the question mark colon node or logics in general do let me know this isn't a beginner logics tutorial um, a beginner logics tutorial would be more about sort of how the interface works and how to use the controls to do with logics i need to do that at some point but i wanted to do the question mark colon node video because uh, it kept coming up in questions if you have any other questions please do let me know i'll do my best to help you out i will see you next time Bye bye